Midoriya shockingly responds to Toga's boyfriend proposal, Hiniko Toga falls out of love, and round two between Toga and Ochako Uraraka officially begins. Let's talk about all of this and more as we dive right into the newest chapter of My Hero Academia. So My Hero Academia Chapter 348 is finally out, and with it we get to see just how Midoriya and the others respond to Toga's request for Midoriya to be her boyfriend. And let's just say the response might actually shock you. But before I begin talking about this chapter, I'm first going to go into a quick summary of what happened last time. And as usual, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide on into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. In the last chapter, Shigaraki reveals that the peak physical form of all human beings is hands, by unveiling that the quirk singularity theory is not only fact but fast approaching, as his body has already begun to evolve in an attempt to cope with the power of his quirks. Still doesn't exactly explain why he becomes hands though, seems kinda sus to me. But anyway, overwhelmed with the power of his new handy form, the heroes decide that the only way to deal with the handyman himself, Shigaraki, is with plot armor. So Mandalay contacts plot armor boy Deku with her quirk and he replies to her, not true her quirk, my mistake, apologies, but true an earpiece. Midoriya then informs the heroes that he got kidnapped and is on an island 200 kilometers from Japan's shore, and Aizawa tells Midoriya that he doesn't give a shit. He needs to get to them ASAP. With this message relayed, the story then cut to Midoriya on the island, where we not only see an all-out war between heroes and villains taking place, but also Himiko Toga, who is assaulting Midoriya with love and knives. It's revealed that Toga has managed to nullify Midoriya's danger sense quirk with the power of love. Like, that's actually how she does it. And right as Midoriya finds this out, Himiko Toga finally confesses her true feelings and officially asks Midoriya to be her boyfriend. And this is where chapter 348 picks up. This chapter opens up with a shot of a nervous and blushing Midoriya, repeatedly saying the word boyfriend to himself in shock as the narration informs us that even though she has been openly obsessed with Midoriya for like the entirety of the series, Zuku never realized that Toga liked him, and is only now connecting the dots. Also, I feel like it's important to point out here how the narration also mentions that of course Midoriya wouldn't have realized a girl liked him, because, and I quote, he always has been and always will be a shitty nerd. Damn, why did the narration come after my boy Azuku like that? Whoever this narrator is woke up and chose violence against Midoriya. Is Bakugo narrating this moment or something? Like, why you gotta call him a shitty nerd? But anyway, Toga then informs Azuku that she fell in love with him the very first time they saw each other, which would have been during the training camp arc because he was covered in blood and looked just like her first love from school. After saying this, Toga then pulls this absolutely absolutely horrifying smile as she compliments Deku and asks him if she can drink his blood to become just like him. Red flags, red flags. However, Deku understandably denies Toga's request, informing her that ordinary lovers, yes he says lovers, just do things like go to amusement parks together, hold hands, and share crepes. But Toga insists that she doesn't want to do any of that. As for her, liking a person means one wanting to become that person, and that alone is enough for her. Toga then gets doused in water by a wave created by the abnormal Nomu, and as she is drenched in this water, she asks Deku and Ochako, what do you want to do to me? Which is not only a super kinky question to ask, but as Uraraka remembers is also the exact same question Toga asked her during their encounter in the previous war. Midoriya then answers Toga's question by stating that he doesn't really know yet, because he can actually somewhat understand and relate to Toga's mindset on admiration, as just like her, he used to want to be exactly like the person he admired 
most, All Might. But to Toga's dismay, Izuku clarifies that the reason he can't just let her get away is that unlike her, he can never justify the desire to hurt others, even if it's based on admiration. Basically, Izuku is saying here that while he can relate to Toga wanting to be like the people she likes, he doesn't believe it gives her the right to hurt those people. In hearing Izuku's response, Toga smiles again, but in a more controlled way this time, showing us that she is somewhat unsatisfied and upset by Deku's answer. Toga, now thinking about how her parents, Curious, and even Ochako reacted to her true self, proclaims that they are all the same. They only consider heroes and those who fit into the hero society as people, and don't show any sympathy or understanding for everyone else. And with this, Toga then puts on her mask and aggressively charges towards Midoriya. But she is unable to land a single attack on Midoriya and is quickly grappled by Uraraka, causing the two to get into a scuffle and roll away from Izuku. In the middle of this scuffle, Uraraka says that she's been thinking a lot about Toga since the two last met, but Toga replies that she no longer thinks about Ochako and only thinks about Izuku, stating that if the world turns against her, she will also turn against the world. Toga then charges Ochako while also unveiling her new spearheaded rocket propelled syringes, which seem to work identically to Doc Ock's tentacle arms, so they can move on their own and in multiple directions. However, to Ochako's surprise, Toga actually uses these new syringes as distractions, instead choosing to attack Ochako herself with a knife, managing to land a cut on Uraraka's back. However, this is the only attack we see Toga land, as immediately after this, Froppy jumps onto the scene and hits Toga with a high jump kick as Midoriya grapples and restrains Toga with Black Whip. With Toga temporarily restrained, Uraraka claims that she is fine and that the cut on her back isn't that deep, and Froppy reveals that they specifically brought Toga to this isolated island away from the mainland as she is the most unpredictable enemy they have faced. Froppy then tells Midoriya that he needs to get to Aizawa and the others as soon as possible, so he should just leave Toga to her and Ochako as the plan originally intended. In hearing this, Deku is initially hesitant to leave Ochako, remembering their conversation in front of Troy, but Uraraka reassures him that she will be fine and tells him to do his best. And with this, episode 348 comes to an end, as Toga proclaims that she is sick of living in a world that would treat her poorly for being in love. As Uraraka yells once more for Midoriya to go, as we see Deku rush off at high speeds across the water towards Shigaraki and the others. Overall, this was a decent, I'll bet very short chapter. And to be honest, just like the previous chapters, there isn't really too much to take from it. The most interesting thing I think we learned is the fact that Toga doesn't love Ochako anymore. Which is interesting because one, it means she can't use Ochako's quirk with her blood, and two, it means that Toga won't hold back in their upcoming fight. Also, I do want to say that I am so happy this chapter didn't just end with Ochako and Toga fighting over Midoriya's love. Like, thank God. I really hope they use this fight to solidify Uraraka as an independent hero who fights for her own purposes and ideals. I mean, it's been set up in a way that this very much could happen and be amazing, but it also could so easily devolve into a cliche, I love him more battle, which nobody wants. But let me know what you think of this chapter. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment what you think is going to happen next. For more My Hero content, subscribe to the Lunchtime Crew. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, plus ultra.